It's right over here, Lur. And well? Okay. Okay, remember point B, you're trying to get to bird on hand. No bird, okay? Coming back. Taking the feet first. Okay, I'm going to pivot here. I'm going to offer her my foot. Beautiful grab. Okay, put a lot of weight onto this foot here as I shift over, right? Yeah, control. Boom here, right? From here, Lori, look down towards me this, this way. So do a back look. Good. You slowly keep your legs bent. Keep your legs over. Keep your legs bent. As you swim through, push your hips forward. And you'll be here, okay? Out way easier than I thought. <laughs> um, your ability to hold your weight makes it, it a lot yeah, easier. Yeah, you're, you're an amazing <laughs> yeah. player. So. Pull, push, good. So the key here is to keep your legs up so they don't flop down onto the mat and they can hurt your knee, okay? So okay. when you did that, it helped a lot. Uh, one thing that you can improve on is as you flip over, push your hip forward. It should look like a big curl. Like you're okay. swimming to hips forward just like the, the whole time. And, um, and then you go where you look, so you have to really look back, back, back. And you're doing a, a, like a flip, so you got to keep looking back, and you flip over this way. Otherwise, that hand was really good. Let's do it again. You did a really good job of controlling that weight, which will help the hand a little bit. Do the feet first. Now pivot. Get nice as horizontal as you can, so it feels nice and safe. Boom, I'm going to lower my leg. Oh, another thing I do is I keep my shin going like, towards her shoulder here. It gives her a little bit of more friction to the fall back so fast. Yeah. So from here, as as down by my knees. I can go over here, slowly slide to the shoulder, boom. Now here, she's going where she looks. She's looking back, back, back. And arms are straight, nice curl, right? And I keep the legs up and down. Because <laughs> okay. your legs can fall right down on the knees, yeah. Okay. So I could have done a better job of guiding you over. So let me just do it one more time show how what I do as I kind of guide my hands and make that okay. look a little easier. And then lean back. Trying to explain it as you're going through. Yeah. So here. Pivoting through. Shins against the shoulder helps a lot. I'm bending, meeting her here. Then we're going to slowly slide out. I'm going to grab here, looking towards me. Nice curl. So from here, I'll keep my legs straight. We'll keep her horizontal first. <laughs> Good. So as long as she's grabbing my feet, she can't fall on her head. Right? Yeah. And you've got to really extend your toes to make it a strong toe. Okay. Uh, my bad is not tough okay. enough at all. <laughs> you rescued it though. It's pretty little yeah. swimming. They call it swimming mermaid. So you're yeah. swimming. You're actually doing it correctly. Um, so how do, you, how do you make that flip in a controlled manner? I find for me it's about using the hands just one at a time. I'm walking towards her shoulder and I'm actually using my hands to help guide her and flip her over okay. to kind of guide her with the motion of where she needs to go, okay? So we're here towards the chin, towards the shoulder. And we're over here, up. Watch my left hand here. Looking towards me, there you go. Find that balance here. I'm using my hand to push her hips, reaching through, and then over. a lot of work.